after the play, we have two fouls. Personal foul, unnecessary roughness. Number 11 of the kicking team. Personal foul, number 52 of the receiving team. Those penalties offset at the spot of the, at the dead ball spot, first down. Jeff Triplett, longtime NFL referee, announced his retirement from officiating just about a month ago. If you couldn't tell from that opening video, he has definitely had its moments. It was reported that he may have retired due to his shaky performance during the Titans Chiefs wildcard game. There was a play where Mariota was sacked and lost the ball, and Triplett ruled him down even though the replay clearly showed that he lost the ball. Due to him blowing the whistle early on that play, it was non-reviewable. This call alone may haunt Chiefs fans for years to come, and will leave a dark stain on Triplett's career. But something happened almost two decades ago that was much more devastating. In 1999, a flag that he threw ended up leaving a player hospitalized and out of football completely for years. So before we get started, I gotta thank SeatGeek for sponsoring this video. I know you want cheap tickets, and SeatGeek gathers tickets from all across the web into one area, making buying so much easier. They rate these tickets on a scale from 1 to 100, with the higher the number, the better the deal. Plus, if you still haven't done it yet, use my promo code KTO at checkout for $20 off your first purchase. Alright, now let's dive into this video. Football is a dangerous game, and when you think that, you think of the collisions, the dangerous hits. You don't really think of player-referee interactions to be that dangerous. And even if you thought about that, you'd probably imagine a player hurting a referee. Like that time Carlos Boozer punched a referee in celebration. Wristed that in. Oh, oh wow! He did Force get him. Boozer is a big dude, especially to that referee. Dan Crawford, for the most part, shook it off. The incident with Jeff Triplett and Orlando Brown would have a much more disastrous outcome. Let me give you the setting. It's nearing the end of the 1999 regular season. The Cleveland Browns are hosting the Jacksonville Jaguars, who are insanely good at this point. They were 12-1 and, and well on their way to clinching the number one seed in the AFC. The Browns, well, they're just trying to get through their first season as an expansion team. It was third and long early in the second quarter, and after a false start, Jeff Triplett blew the play dead. As he threw the flag, it was headed directly towards Orlando Brown's face. The flag made direct impact on his right eye. Immediately, Orlando Brown was in serious pain. The flag, which was weighted by pellets, had blinded his right eye. Triplett tried to apologize right after since it was obviously incidental, but Orlando Brown was pissed. Brown is a big dude. He was even once asked to join the WWF. The 350 pound beast, who was better known as Zeus around the league, was filled with rage, and he retaliated. After he shoved the ref, his teammates ran up to hold him back, which would get him thrown out of the game and fined for shoving a referee. He also would be suspended indefinitely. But the fine and suspension were dropped once the NFL heard that Brown had been hospitalized for days, with doctors trying to save the vision in his right eye. The impact was devastating. Doctors limited what he could do exercise-wise, and he had to wear dark sunglasses at all times to protect his vision. It's actually a good thing that he was thrown out of the game. If he would have stayed in any longer, even a few more plays, it's quite possible he would have never regained vision in that eye. For a long time, Brown dealt with bleeding and swelling behind that eye. This injury would end up keeping him out for over three seasons, and not only that, but he was legally blind for most of those. The Browns had ended up releasing him the year after the injury, negating the final five years of his $27 million contract. He was losing a ton of money and fast, simply from being at the wrong place at the wrong time. As you'd expect, he would eventually sue the NFL. The lawsuit would eventually settle for $25 million, and he did get back into the NFL, where he would play another three seasons. Unfortunately, even though he did play those few extra years in the league, his life would only get worse. 
He eventually got divorced. In 2009, he would be arrested with third degree burglary and destruction of property of his ex-wife's house. And although these charges would be dropped, two years later, tragically, Orlando Brown was found dead in his apartment due to diabetic complications. Orlando Brown was described by a teammate as a big old puppy dog with a little bit of a bark. Pretty much all his former teammates and coaches loved him. And to turn things into a positive, his son, Orlando Brown Jr., is entering the NFL draft this year. He was the blindside protector to Baker Mayfield and may very well be the best offensive tackle in this draft. To be struck in the eye with a flag is extremely unfortunate. There has been some other close calls, with one player in particular in 2013 actually getting struck in the eye as well. Luckily, it didn't have any major impact and he returned to the field a few plays later. Look, referees make mistakes. It sucks when they throw a game. It's even worse when they put a player's health in danger. For me, I just prefer it when they mess up like this. Unnecessary, after the play was over, unnecessary roughness on number 52. Excuse me a minute. There are multiple fouls on the play. Unnecessary roughness on the kicking team number 92. 52. Unnecessary roughness on the receiving team number 57. Those fouls offset. There's also a holding number 92 on the return team. All those fouls offset at the spot of that foul. First down. 